Hey there, my name is Justin Main, and in this video, you're going to learn about the five things you need to know about Crow before you watch it. Grief is pain. And pain is power. So ever since we've announced the release of Crow, and ever since we've put out trailers online, we've received quite a bit of feedback. Positive, negative. We've received it all. We've heard it all. And in this video, I want to share with you the five things that you are going to need to know about the film before you watch it. Let's start with number one. Number one, Crow is not a remake or a reboot. Crow isn't a remake or a reboot. Hell, it's not even a reimagining. It's a unique story set within the mythology of the franchise that James O'Barr created. At no point did we ever intend to redo or recreate anything of what you've seen before. It is our intention to basically tell a story that we thought was a very interesting story to tell based off of an idea that I had when I was 12 years old when I had first seen the original film. And then as I explored the comics and the other films... It just kind of blossomed within me to be able to tell this story that I've been wanting to tell. Number two, it's a fan film. Crow is not a major Hollywood studio production. It doesn't have millions of dollars behind its budget. It's made by independent filmmakers with a passion for filmmaking and by fans of the franchise. We wanted to make this film for fans of The Crow. We wanted to make this film to show what we could do as filmmakers. I wish we had millions of dollars behind the budget. It would have helped with my bank account quite a bit. But overall, this film was made with passion, and it was made with enthusiasm, and it was made with hard work. Um, we, we didn't have this 200, 300 plus crew. We had a little over 20 people when we were shooting. And then in post-production, it was really just a couple of people. So we put a lot of hard work into this film, and... Regardless of the reception that we get from it, we are very happy with what we made and we can't wait for you guys to see it. Number three, Eric Draven is not in this film. So this one kind of piggybacks off of one and two. Again, we're not remaking this film. So if we're not remaking it, we're not using Eric Draven. Eric Draven isn't even in this story. We're using a wholly original story, so that means we have to create a new character. Uh, the last thing we wanted to do was try to outdo Brandon Lee's performance. So instead, we created a new character with a different type of background, different type of mannerisms, and a different personality overall. Um, we felt that it was more true to the story, and we felt like it was going to take things in the direction that we wanted to take the film in. Uh, so at no point are you going to see little Eric Draven quips or anything like that. It's mostly a wholly original story centered around a wholly original character. Number four, Crow isn't just a horror or action movie. Just like the original, Crow isn't just one genre of film. It's not just action. It's not just horror. It's, it's romance. It's sci-fi. It's fantasy. It's mystery. It's a noir. It's a lot of different things all at once, and that's because we want to serve the story correctly. If we were to just put Crow into one box, I feel like we would be doing the film a disservice. There's a lot of twists and turns, there's a lot of different elements to this film that make it what it is, just like the original. And because of that, that's why you're going to see a lot of different things all kind of hit you at once. Emotionally, we wanted to take you on a roller coaster. And when you watch the film, you'll see what we mean. Number five, this was my dream movie to make. Ever since I watched The Crow when I was 12 years old, I had this idea in my head that I wanted to make. I, I wanted to do a Crow movie with the ideas that I had thought of, the stuff that maybe um, hadn't been done before. And I found myself a couple of years ago, after several years in the acting business, you know, working in front of and behind the camera, I found myself at a place where 
I asked myself, could I make this film? Could I establish this idea? Could I put it out there and, and really do it justice? And after talking with a few colleagues and friends, um, one of which was Dylan Sides, who, if you know him, he worked on Revenge of the Mask, I started realizing that this dream of mine could become a reality. And so we set forth. We started writing the script, went into pre-production, and that's all she wrote. We made Crow, and it was a, it was a dream come true. So those are the five things you need to know about Crow before it releases on July 18th. If you want to watch Crow, you can check it out on our YouTube channel for free on Monday, July 18th. Or if you live in the Detroit area, you can attend our world theatrical premiere at the Bel Air Luxury Cinema on Thursday, July 14th. Tickets are on sale now and proceeds are going to a good cause. We unfortunately lost a crew member of ours Jim t-shirt last month and the proceeds will be going to his wife to help pay for his final expenses. So if you live in Detroit or if you live near Detroit, we'd love to have you there. We're going to be raffling off prizes like posters, wardrobe, props, and, and more. Thank you guys for watching. Not too much longer. I'll see you soon.